LG has high expectations in its upcoming Velvet device, hoping it'll be the savior of the company's mobile division. I am Keno and this is Anchor Tech. Be sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any future video. For the past couple of years, LG's mobile division has been suffering, with the company selling less and less phones year on year. Now, there are a couple of factors that might have caused this, but what I can think of is the company trying too hard to make standout features and ends up making gimmicks, and at the same time not nailing the basic essentials for a smartphone. It could also be due to inadequate advertisement. But that's going into another topic. The company has come up with a new plan to get itself back into the smartphone game, and the plan is the LG Velvet. It's an entirely new series for LG and might be the successor to the G series. It comes in a 6.8 inch 21 by 9 aspect ratio and has a really clean back design, arguably one of the cleanest of all the phones in 2020, but that's about where it stands out. On the front, it has a notch and a chin. In 2020, that is unacceptable, unless you're gonna price the phone at $400. Anyway, the phone has three cameras at the back, a 48 megapixel main shooter, an 8 megapixel ultra wide, and a 5 megapixel depth sensor. And on the front, it has a 16 megapixel sensor and houses a 4,300 milliamp hours battery. It's gonna be powered by the Snapdragon 765, which is an upper mid-range processor that has 5G support, and that will be accompanied by 8 gigabytes of RAM and 128 gigabytes of internal storage. It's gonna use LG's full vision, full HD OLED display, so it's not quad HD. Also, there is no word on whether or not it's gonna have a higher refresh rate display. It's expected to be priced at around $700. Now, $700 for an upper mid-range device is not a good idea in my opinion. You can get last year's flagships or the entry-level OnePlus for about the same price. I'm sure LG used the 765 instead of the 865 in order to keep down costs, but it's still pretty expensive. Anyway, do you think this is gonna save LG's mobile division? Let me know what you think about the Velvet in the comment section below. Drop a like if you enjoyed the video. And if you wanna get more tech-related news, then definitely subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any future videos. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next one.